This is the last time Vladimir Putin's most vocal critic was seen in public. On Thursday, Alexei Navalny attended what would be his last court session via video link. Shaven headed, gaunt, yet still able to poke fun at his circumstances. 24 hours later, prison authorities said he had died. As news reached his wife Yulia, who was at the Munich Security Conference in Germany, she gave this emotional but composed response. I want Putin and all of his entourage, Putin's friends and his government, to know that they will be held accountable for what they have done to our country, to my family and to my husband. And that day will come very soon. Following the announcement of his death, Russia's prison service released this statement. Navalny felt unwell after a walk and lost consciousness almost immediately. Medical staff at the institution arrived promptly and an ambulance team was called. All necessary resuscitation measures were carried out, which did not yield positive results. The causes of death are being established. The Kremlin spokesman had fewer details to give. I don't know. I don't know. The doctors should give us the answers somehow. While Navalny was a bold figure for exposing Russia's elite, others remember his bumpy political journey where he made nationalist comments against migrants. Navalny himself was well aware of his own vulnerability. In 2020, Navalny was on a plane in Russia when he felt ill. He was then flown to Germany and was in a coma for two weeks. Western laboratory tests revealed Navalny had been poisoned by the banned weapons-grade nerve agent Novichok, developed by the Russian state. The Kremlin denied any involvement. The man, who Russia's president Vladimir Putin would not mention by name, had become a thorn in the side of the Kremlin. Navalny's anti-corruption foundation accused Putin and his circle of defrauding and impoverishing Russia. When Navalny returned to Moscow in 2021, he was promptly arrested for violating the terms of his parole. His return won him admiration from opposition supporters and his detention mobilized thousands of Russians on the streets and subsequent crackdowns by police. His imprisonment was repeatedly extended and his health declined sharply. From his prison cell, Navalny called Russia's Ukraine invasion a stupid war based on lies. In an Oscar-winning documentary, Navalny recorded this message to his followers in case of his death. Obviously, I want to say don't give up. You can't and shouldn't give up. If this happens, it means we are incredibly strong at that time, since they've decided to kill me. Urging them to continue the cause with his staunchest supporters, his wife Yulia and their two children. Yulia Shabavalova, Al Jazeera, Moscow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.